Margins are the white space surrounding the content of your page. You can change the margin setting to make your document more readable or to give it a distinctive look. Some people prefer narrow margins because they don't like wasting paper when they print. And sometimes you need to change margins to allow for different ways of printing and binding your document. Every new Microsoft Word document has default margins of one inch on all sides. However, you can change these by selecting from a list of preset options. All presets have equal margins on the left and right, except for mirrored margins. This setting is used when pages are printed on both sides and bound as a book. The inside margin is wider than the outside and changes sides from one page to the next to allow proper space when the book is bound and then opened. Alternatively, you can customize the margins by entering your own values for the top, bottom, left, and right margins. You can also allow for a gutter, which, like the mirrored preset, adds additional space to one side of a page to allow a printing company to add binding materials. You've formatted a report using Word's default margins, but now you'd like to print a hard copy and archive it in a three-ring binder. You're going to change the margin settings to allow for the three-hole punch. Binding a document alters how a person views the pages, so we need to allow for proper white space, which makes the content easier to read. We also need to leave enough space on the printed page to add the binding material. To change the margin settings, we'll need to switch to the Page Layout tab. Let's begin by using the Margins button in the Page Setup group to view our options for changing our document's margins. When bound in a book, pages have inside margins, the middle of the book, and outside margins, the edges of the book. We can see that mirrored refers to inside and outside, so let's use that. It's a subtle change, but if we look up at the ruler, we can see the mirrored setting added a quarter of an inch to each inside margin. On odd pages, it's the left, and on even pages, it's the right. But we think we want to print single-sided pages, so this setting won't work. Let's try changing our margins to accommodate our wishes. This time, let's input our own margin settings. We can do that with the Custom Margins command at the bottom of the menu. That opened the Page Setup dialog box. Here we can see the current margin settings. Because we have the mirrored option selected, we're seeing inside and outside labels instead of left and right. Before we adjust the margins, we'll need to turn off mirror margins. We can do this from the Multiple Pages drop-down list. The Multiple Pages list includes settings that vary the layout and margins, depending on how you'd like to print and bind the document. We want uniform margins and one page per sheet, so let's select the Normal option. The margin text boxes for inside and outside have changed back to left and right. Let's change the left margin back to one inch and then set the gutter to allow for the three-hole punch. We've got our default margins back. Now let's add a gutter. A gutter is simply space added to the current margin width to allow for binding. This means we will still have equal margins on the right and left once the binding has been applied. The gutter position list box is set correctly as left. Let's enter a gutter width of one inch.
To update the preview of what our document will look like once it's printed, we need to confirm our entry in the gutter text box. Let's do that by clicking the Margins tab. Now we have retained our original 1 inch margin and added a 1 inch gutter to the left side, indicated by the shaded spot on the preview. That leaves plenty of room for our hole punches. Let's accept these changes and take a look at how our content has changed. See the space added to the left side of our document? Our ruler shows us that our text will start two inches from the left side of the sheet. This will ensure we have space for the binding, while not sacrificing our margin. Don't forget that people find it easier to read pages that have some blank areas around the content. So make sure you optimize your margins before you print your document.